Senator Ted Cruz, also running for president, joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Good to um, see you, Greta. Always good to be with you. Always nice to have you. Just on the thought of a fellow candidate for president, uh, if El Chapo is threatening um, Donald Trump, should he get Secret Service? And I sort of harken back to yeah. um, when uh, Senator Obama got Secret mm -hmm. Service. It was in May. Of, it was two, year, two months right. earlier. Right. No, of course he should. Uh, listen, El Chapo, the, the, these drug cartels are incredibly dangerous. They are transnational criminal operations. They are murderers. They are thugs. These are the same people that are smuggling people illegally into this country. In Texas, we deal with this all the time. We've got 1,200 miles of border with Mexico, and we see the ravages of these violent, murdering drug cartels. Uh, assuming the evidence is there of a credible threat against Trump's life, absolutely he should get protection. All right. Um, let me turn now to uh, Texas. Sanctuary cities. Yeah. Um, you have sanctuary cities in Texas? Uh, unfortunately, it has been a persistent problem, and, and it's been a problem. You've got often Democratic mayors uh, who are elected from the far left and who decline to in enforce the law. Now, it varies in terms of how brazen it is. Uh, it's not always as brazen as, as San Francisco is, but it's a problem when you have cities that are in the control of the Democrats and don't want to follow the law. What's the thinking? Um, I mean, why would, I mean, usually you think of law enforcement as being law enforcement. I, I mean, I, you know, I was always on the defense side. And I, I never, I mean, a, a cop and a sheriff was never easy on my clients for yeah. any reason. Yeah. So it's hard for me to understand. Are they literally ignoring the law? I mean, yeah. They, they disagree with the law, and so, so they're, but they're ignoring and, it. And, and police? Well, it's, it's law enforcement who won't cooperate with the federal government. And, and, you know, I joined with a number of senators to introduce legislation saying that any jurisdiction that, that refuses to, to follow federal immigration law, that, that, that forms a sanctuary city, should lose their federal funding, that we should cut it off. And... You know, so what's the problem? I mean, like, that's another problem. I guess is that you know, immigration really is is a federal government issue, mm -hmm. and the federal government could easily write laws as the ones you've introduced and pass yeah. legislation um, to to make to streamline it to make it make a lot of sense and to force people to comply with the law. But you don't. Well, it's because the Democratic Party supports illegal immigration. In illegal? Yes. Or they want to change it. it. They don't even call it illegal immigration. They've come up with this undocumented term because they don't acknowledge. I'm reminded of a famous exchange where Sonny Bono years ago, remember the former congressman, was asked, you know, what's your view on illegal immigration? He says, well, it's illegal, isn't it? In 2013, the Obama administration released 36,000 criminals, people with criminal convictions who were illegal aliens. They released them publicly, 116 of them were murderers. They had homicide convictions. Over 15,000 of the criminal aliens the Obama administration released had convictions for drunk driving. These are Democrats that are endangering the security of this country by refusing to follow our laws, and it's wrong. All right, quick 30 seconds on the Saran deal. Got the, your thought? It, it is catastrophic. If it goes through, it will result in funding terrorism, it will endanger the lives of Americans, it will endanger Israel. And if and you're president, what do you do? Repudiate it on day one. But we got 60 days to kill it in Congress, and everyone watching this should reach out to their members of Congress and say, protect our national security. To Democrats, don't use partisan loyalty to the White House. Stand up for the safety and security of America. Senator, thank you. Nice to see you, sir.